All right, what's up guys? So I thought I'd do a quick little update on the 240's engine bay progress. As last time you guys seen, I was pulling out the motor. I got most of the accessories already removed. There's still a little bit of left to do. I gotta remove the hard lines. I just finished taking out the master and I'm about to start doing the booster right now. But besides that, I oh, also got the chassis harness out for the most part. Just gotta take out the, the fuses and slide it through the little, this little hole right here. But after that, the whole harness is completely out the way. And, oh yeah, I still also gotta do the battery tray. There's some spot welds that I have to drill out. I found a little picture on Facebook. I'm, I'll put it on the on the video so you guys could see. But that should be pretty easy to remove. But then after that, that should be basically it. Like I said, I already started taking off the booster. I just took off the master. It's already draining all the fluid right there. So I'm about to get underneath the car, the driver's seat, and see what else I got to remove so I can pop the booster out of place. Finish taking out the hard lines from right here. And... That's pretty much it. Oh, and I might have to do the hill latch as well, but I might see if I could get away with probably leaving that in there. Depends how hard it is to take off. We'll see right now. Oh yeah, also one more thing. I'm still not sure if I'm gonna repaint the subframe as well. I, f I kinda, kinda wanna drop the subframe once everything else is out because even the sway bar is gonna be trash. I can't use that for the swap. And I just want to see if I could find some Nismo braces for these right here. But the only, I mean, it's not bad. It's still like, it's just, I don't know. If we can make it look shiny, as well as with the steering rack, even spray some paint on that, that would be pretty dope. But I don't know, I feel like that might be overdoing it. But we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, to take off the booster, should be right there so you guys can see there's one two three four bolts take that off and then there should be one pin holding in the booster itself in place and after I take off that pin it should just be able to pop out so let me go go ahead and get started with that real quick two hours later all right guys so I got all the bolts out the pin that was holding the brake booster in took me like a good hour and probably made me lose like a few fingers but <clears throat> everything should be loose now so the booster should just pop out of place grab you guys what a pain in the ass but I needed to get this out just gotta disconnect it from here that's it. It's rusty. Now I'm gonna be able to get fresh paint all up in there. <sighs> it started raining, but this weather's stupid right now. Hopefully it stops soon. So yeah, the whole plan is basically to upgrade the brake booster. I'm gonna see if I can probably run like a Z32 one, because I have a Z32 Master. And uh, I'm gonna get rid of all these brake lines. I don't like it. When I have the swap, I want it to look clean in here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and get rid of all these brake lines right now. I'm gonna start taking them off. It's beauty in the struggle, ugliness in the success. Hear my words and listen to my signal of distress. All right, one more to go. So this is why I had to take off the wheel, the wheel real quick because it's kind of hard to get in there just with a wrench. Hopefully I can do it without dropping the camera. You guys are like right in the way. So there we go. I'm broken loose. And just like that, this brake line just come out. 
I'm gonna throw it in the bushes so I don't make a mess more than what I already have and look at that it already looks way cleaner now I just got to take off the driver's side one same thing here pop it out there should be another one in there break it loose take off the wheel and then yeah after that I'll give you guys a full full little update on how it looks real quick y'all see that angle though this car has stupid angle like I said before it has a full PBM kit God damn, this motherfucker was about to pop. I don't know if I can see this. Holy shit. Hold up. What the fuck, bro? Damn. That inner barrel's fucked. And it's not leaking air? It's fucking crazy. Some bullshit, y'all. Well, I mean, at least they look cool, right? But goddamn, can't believe that. And it's fucking bent. Oh, uh, this whole inner barrel is fucked. Bent and cracked. Well, that's a fucking L. I mean, fuck it. At least I'm not driving the car. This is nothing happened while I was driving it. It's not like this thing is moving anytime soon. So, just gotta remember to order a new inner barrel for that wheel. All right. Now we just pop this one out of place, and there goes the driver brake line. Toss it into the bushes as well. <laughs> oh shit. Now, I don't know, this is like a ground or something. I'm gonna take this off too. These little, this could stay for now, these little clips. But, let me go ahead and just take out everything that's in the way, all these tools and everything, because I want to see exactly what's what's left over. God damn. All right, so I got everything off the engine bed for the most part. Uh, what's next, what's next? There's three things I really wanted that I still have to do before I could even start sending anything down. Like I said, I gotta take off this battery tray, but I just don't know if I wanna do that right now because it's gonna start raining. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be some uh, fresh exposed metal once I rip it apart. I don't want it to start rusting again, so I don't know. Might do that last, but I still need to pass the fuse block wiring, wiring through here. Just got to take off the, uh, all the relays and label them. And pass them through this little hole one by one. And then after that, what else? Would, oh yeah. I have one of these. From my old car, I never got to use it the ISR performance uh, steering shaft bushing solid bushing I mean pretty sure it's never been changed and right now is the perfect time to do it so I gotta do that as well but it's coming along pretty smoothly honestly it's not as bad the brake booster took me a minute that was a pain in the ass but besides that everything else came apart pretty easy what else, what else, what else? Yeah, so I, I might start with the fuse box. Get this out the way completely. All this out of here. And just probably have it leaning right aside from the engine bay. And then, I might have to take off the sway bar as well, since I'm not gonna use it. But I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna take it off right now. But yeah, I think I'm gonna start with the wiring. So I'm gonna set you guys up. I'm gonna start passing all this wiring harness one by one. And then after that, we'll continue to something else. Sheesh. 
Oh, this chrome. All right, let me set you guys up right here. Something like that. And I'm gonna get started on this wiring real quick. We got the main, we got the little fuse box out. <laughs> I just gotta run all of this through there, bro. Bro, what? That's not gonna fit. What the fuck is this? All this is gonna have to come apart. That shit is never gonna fit through there, bro. Jesus Christ, it's crazy. Oh well, let's take it one step at a time. Let's keep going. Just gotta take this one out, and the rest should just pop out. But oh, this is like corroded in there, guys. So this is gonna just taking a minute to pop out. But I'm gonna make it pop out. I'm over here with my sled. Oh shit! <laughs> Gotta break shit. Let's fucking go. I got the chassis harness completely out the engine bay. Now I'm gonna just leave this outside. Just make sure it's all out the way. Just gotta cut these little clips right here holding that in and take it out completely. What else? All right, but for the most part, that's it. The whole engine bay is almost completely stripped. 95% done. And I believe we got the hardest part out the way too, the chassis harness. Now all that's really left, it's just the battery. I keep saying that, just the battery. And the steering rack bushing that I gotta replace that's in there. And I put all the bolts back in so I don't lose anything, but I'm gonna have to take them all out. And hopefully I put them right back where everything goes. But that's it. That's it guys, look at this bro. That's crazy. This car was just my daily like two weeks ago too. Driving it every day. Now it looks like <laughs> stripped. It's worse than pick and pull. But, all right guys, I think that's pretty much it for today. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I still have to decide on the color, so if you guys have any recommendations, just go ahead and comment down below. And, uh... I know this is all tedious, kind of boring work, but just uh, stick with me, guys. We're gonna get through this. I have to. <laughs> but, we got all the boring and hard stuff out the way. Now it should just be pretty straightforward from now on, so... Also, if you guys think I should paint the subframe, let me know. I kind of don't want to, but it's literally right there. I'm gonna feel, it's gonna feel wrong if everything looks nice and fresh in paint, and then we got the steering rack and the subframe hella clapped out. But, we'll see, we'll see. That's gonna conclude it for today's video. I'll catch you guys either tomorrow or on my next day off. Deuces.